everybody. Welcome back to Meals with Marcia. Today I'm going to share with you a recipe and it is called chicken pot pie. I'm excited to show you this, so let's get started. Uh, I have a leftover rotisserie chicken, uh, so I that's what I'm using today. You can boil your own chicken, guys, but rotisserie is so much quicker, so much easier, and it's got a lot of flavor to it. And the reason I'm talking about this is like, you don't have to get one that's hot. Like you can go to the grocery store a lot of times and look in the deli and if they have any leftover from the day before, they'll have them chilled in the cooler section and you can just buy those and they're usually at a reduced price. I think this one was like $3. So that's why I wanted to use this because it's already cooked. I don't have to do all that. And then I can get quicker on. Well, this is about four cups, three and a half to four cups. And I'm using a large bowl today because I'm making a lot. I may even have to get another casserole dish. This makes a huge amount. And I've just uh, broken this up with my hands. And if you think you want it a little bit smaller, you can, or you know, you could put it in the food processor, but we kind of like chunks in there with our pot pie. All right. And then I'm gonna go ahead and put my seasoning in. I have my recipe over here that I'm going to be going back and forth to. This is tiger seasoning. I've been using this for a long time. Uh, you used to could only get it at Kroger, but now they have it at like uh, Food City and different places like that. But I just like a little bit of that in there. And then we're going to do a fourth a teaspoon of garlic powder. I think I can get down in here. I hope. If not, I'll just pour it and hope for the best. There we go. Fourth a teaspoon of that. And then we're going to do some poultry seasoning. I'm going to do a fourth a teaspoon of poultry seasoning. Poultry seasoning is kind of a strong, uh, pungent spice. So, you know, be careful if you don't like a lot. But I use that in my dressing and stuff too. It goes really well. And I'm gonna do a little pepper. Black pepper is good. And I'm just gonna do just very few dashes, guys, excuse me, of salt, because I've got a lot of canned stuff here. And then I'm gonna do just a little dash of onion powder, okay? There's that. I got my seasoning in there. I kind of like to put that on my chicken. Let me pour that up. And then I have a can of veg all. And this is the home style kind. So it has carrots, potatoes, celery, onions, and sweet peas. That's what it says. So I'm adding that. Okay. And then I want to add a can of green beans to it as well. And there's a stick in there. Sometimes when they do the green beans, they'll have a stick in there. Now, you can get the veg all that's a little bit different, just the original veg all. Um, and it has like, um, I think it has corn and stuff like that. I do have a can of corn over here. And I thought about adding corn to it, but we're going to see at the end. Then I need two cans of cream of chicken soup. I'm going to add that in. Like I said, this makes a lot. You can... Uh, what you could do is you could get a couple of casseroles and dishes and make make one and and then make another one for later or make one to take to a friend or something if you wanted to. All right. And then I have some chicken broth. It calls for, I think it's a half a cup of chicken broth. I may have to add a little bit more. And I brought some milk out here in case I needed it. I don't think I'm going to need milk. Sometimes I add a little milk to it to make it creamy. But let's try this half cup and see what it's going to do. See if we need to add some more stuff to it. Yeah, I think I'm going to need, need that. And I'm wondering if I should add that corn. You know what? I think I will add the corn. Why not? Let me get my can opener and get that cut open real quick. I like whole kernel corn. And I will drain it out in one of these other cans. And, but I do believe I'm going to have to have a little bit more broth or I can do some milk. Because you want it to kind of be a creamy consistency. Let me get the, whoop, let me get the water off this real quick. Drain the water. And you can make this as small or as big as you like. Like I said, you know, you can cut it in half and do a small bag of Frozen veggies if you wanted to. Yeah, I think that's gonna work. Let me stir this up really good. I am gonna have to have some more liquid. This is still just a little too dry. So I'm gonna do another half cup of chicken broth. 
And like I said, you could do milk if you wanted to as well. That's why I brought it out here just to see. Oh yeah, that's getting the better consistency that we like here. So let's just stir this up really good. Like I said, it makes a lot. But it's all about just getting all this in here and just a smidge more broth. Maybe a cup and a fourth of broth. And everything in here is cooked. It just has to heat through and through. So I think I'm going to take a little bite of this. Uh, my son and my husband really likes chicken pot pie. Uh, and it's a hearty meal and it goes a long way. Let me see here. Let me see if I can just get a little bite and see. I'm gonna do just a little bit more garlic. Whoop. And I think I'm gonna do a dash of milk. And I'll put all this in the recipe, guys, when when I put it on the on uh, YouTube. Now right, let's get this big spoon here and see what we can do. Let's get that around. You just don't want it to be too dry. That looks nice. Have my cooking spray out here, but all right, all right, guys. Let me get my cooking spray real quick because I'm gonna put this in my dish. But I'm afraid if I don't spray it, it could stick. But hopefully not. Let me spray that. All right. Oh, it's a big old bowl. Let's see if I can get it all in here. I'm doing it all together today because I'm uh, going to be sharing with some of my co-workers today. So I want to make sure I have plenty. And this is a 9 by 13 so if you do it this way, if you do the whole chicken, the four cups of chicken, and then the large veg oil, and then a can of corn, and a can of uh, beans, you're going to have a 9 by 13 is what you're going to have, okay? And that's it right there. Let me spread it around. All right, now... I'm going to cook this. The total is going to take about 30 minutes, but I'm going to cook it while I'm rolling out my biscuit dough. I'm going to go ahead and start cooking this at 400 degrees, uh, and I'm going to time it for about 10 minutes. I'm going to cook it, and then while that's cooking, we're going to roll out our biscuits, and then we're going to pull it out and put our uh, topping on, and then we'll finish it up in the oven. I'm going to put this in, and then I'm going to be right back to do the biscuits. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. Okay, I have my pot pie in the oven, and I'm letting it cook. I said about uh, 10 minutes. I think I'm going to let it go about 15, 17 minutes so it can get more bubbly because this doesn't take long. The top doesn't take too long, and we'll put it back in. But what I've been doing is I have two cups of self-rising unbleached flour, and I'm doing this just like I would do my biscuit recipe. And if you want to know all about that, I have a YouTube. I mean, I have a video on my YouTube about that if you would like to know how to make biscuits. But what I've done is I have taken five tablespoons of Crisco shortening and I have just working that in the flour with a fork and it just kind of looks like uh, little pebbles in there. And that's what you need to do. Just looks kind of like that, okay? And then I have one cup of buttermilk and I'm gonna mix that in. And like I said, this is gonna be our topping for our um, chicken, and, uh, chicken and dumplings. Lord have mercy, chicken pot pie. I don't even know what I'm talking about today. I'm just going to stir it until it, it's about to all come together, just like that. Just like that. Okay, and then you're going to put some flour out on your on your board or on your counter, whatever you want to set, however you do yours. And then we're going to put this out. I'm going to put this dough out onto here. And get it ready to put on top of that. Okay, let's see here. Get it to kind of come together. I have to get a little bit more flour, we'll see. I'm just gonna knead it a couple of times until it kind of cut, starts coming together. I'm just gonna show you guys how to do this part and then I'll come back and 
And then we're gonna smush it out pretty thin, guys, because we want it thin on the top. So we're gonna go maybe a fourth of an inch, maybe, because we gotta cover that whole casserole dish, but we gotta get it pretty thin. And then I'm just gonna cut as much as I can with this biscuit cutter. Go right up against the edge there. Get as many biscuits out of this as I can so I can top our chicken pot pie with it. Yeah. I don't have to be perfect either because they're going on top and then we may be able to get a couple more. Let me see if I can pull that out and get a couple more out of this one, too. You don't want to waste it if you can help it. And do that. Get that one. We'll, we'll shape those two in a minute. All right, I got just a couple of minutes. When it's done, I'm going to come back. I'm going to get it out. I'm going to put this on top. I'm going to bake it the rest of the way, and then we're going to see what it looks like, okay? I'll be right back. Hi everybody, welcome back. Okay, I have cooked my uh, pot pie for about 17 minutes and the edges are bubbly. So now we're gonna put our biscuits on there. I got most of them cut out. I just wanna pat them out real good. And we're just gonna lay them down through here on this casserole. And I'm thinking we should have enough, I hope. And you want them really thin, guys. I'm gonna see if I can make that one. I put a little more flour on my hands. I got too much mess here. We're gonna have us some chicken pot pie. Like I said, my boys like this. It's really good comfort meal. And this would feed quite a bit of people, guys. I mean, this is big. So we're just gonna keep cutting out here. Let's see. There's another one. Put on there. Should have plenty of biscuits to do this. And then people's like, well, why don't you just do the dough on the top and all that stuff and not cut the biscuits out? Well, it's a good question. And one reason is because you can portion it out and everybody gets a biscuit. You can just scoop out a biscuit and there it goes. Now, I'll roll the rest of these out and I'll make us some. I'll do me a few biscuits this morning. I'll do that in just a little bit. Okay. Alright. Now, now I'm going to take my butter and I'm going to brush it on top of my biscuits. We want it to have a good flavor. Now, if you wanted to, you could push these around. I could probably get more than that. I could probably get, you know, other biscuits in there. But I think this will be fine, just like it is. Okay. All right, now I'm going to put this back in the oven. It's 400 degrees. I'm going to bake it for about 15 to 20 more minutes. I'll watch it and then I'll see how long it takes and then we'll take it out and then I'll let you guys see what it looks like, okay? I'll be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, I got my pot pie out of the oven and this is what it looks like. It looks amazing. My biscuits crisped up really good and I cooked it for an additional 17 minutes. Okay, the second time once I put the dough on there. So I want to try this with you guys. And I also rolled out my leftovers. They're just rough looking biscuits, but I rolled them out because I'm going to have me a little biscuit with jelly on there. All right, so let's try this. Let's get us a little dip out of here. Okay. And that's what it looks like, guys. Flaky, yummy biscuit, and that pot pie mix. Now this is harder than Satan's toenails, but I am going to try it. Get 
some of those veggies and get a piece of that biscuit on there. That chicken. Ooh, hot, hot, hot. This may not be cool till next week, I'm not sure. So good. So flavorful, guys. And that flaky biscuit just sets it off. Now, you can use canned biscuits with this, but if you do, you're going to do it the same way I did, but you're going to have to tear those biscuits in half and make them thinner. So if you buy like an eight pack of biscuits, you're going to tear them, you know, and, you know, a lot of times they're kind of like the layers where you can pull them apart. I would half them. You know, not as thick, and then lay them on there. If you want to do canned biscuits, you're more than welcome to do that. But I like homemade biscuits, or people use pie crust. You can set this in there and roll it, just get your refrigerator pie crust and just slit some holes in it and do that. But I love it with the biscuits on there. It's just something, I don't know, just comforting about that biscuit. Mm. It's delicious. All right, guys. And that's it. Start to finish, Marsha's Chicken Pot Pie. Guys, if you enjoyed this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, Meals with Marsha, and don't forget that everything you're gonna need and how to do this is gonna be in the description. Thank you so much for watching. God bless, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.